Captain Paul Carey is away for the week. The firefighter with the most years on the job for Carey's group is Joe Mahoney. As senior man, Joe will be the acting officer on today's shift. He'll have a lot more responsibility than he's used to. The call is once again from the subway station. Another man is down on the tracks. 37 has it, and 37's on scene. That was not good. Thank you. Right on the scene immediately. I went down. I thought I was understanding that I was in a train. I was just glad it wasn't in the pit at that point because I'm watching a train rolling. So I, I walked down a little bit. We saw the gentleman uh, with two people helping him out. He looked like he had a seizure or some sort of uh, he fainted maybe. I'm not sure what happened. He fell off the platform and cracked himself up pretty good in the pit. That's a good five foot drop. I mean, if he, if he yeah, fell straight walk. back, which it looks like he did, he hit his head solid, and he broke his back, as far as I can tell. He was standing on the edge of the platform, and all of a sudden, he, he just the jump over and fell on the track. Did he jump or did he just jump? No, he didn't jump. He, he was he standing fell. there walking. He's walking on the side, and all of a sudden, I just seen him go like this, and he fell over into the train track. Well, he had a couple good Samaritans show up. They had a lot of guts. They jumped down into the pit and pulled him out of the pit so a train wouldn't get him. They may have caused uh, a bit more damage to the man's back, but the man's gonna have problems with his back and he's still gonna be talking to us. So they did the right thing. Once the EMS showed up, we stripped him down, looking for other wounds. We don't know what's going on. He might've got shot. I mean, at that point, you don't know. So we uh, C-spine him, mobilize him. Um, we checked for exterior injuries, which was his head was a severe injury and his lower back had severe injuries. Oh! All right, all right. It's, it's gonna change his life. He's gonna have a, it's a real bad day for that poor guy. No, he's, 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 he's not gonna, it's not gonna be the same. It's a bad week, I think. You gonna walk out with him? Yeah, I get, I get, I get all the trains over two, right? You guys leave anywhere. Yeah, we'll put two of you. Engine 37 is back at the firehouse for five minutes. Before they get another car. There's a fire at a restaurant. Joe Mahoney's day as acting officer is shaping up to be very busy. Put me in the front seat. It's a total different ball game. I mean, you got a lot more pressure on you. You, know, you got to tell guys what to do. I don't like doing that. I'm an Indian in the tribe. I'm not a chief. <laughs> I like to be told what to do. Get the hose and go in the building. Okay, that's easy. You know, it, it, when you do the front seat stuff, it's not hard. It's just a lot more official. <laughs> As the first acting officer on the scene, it's Joe Mahoney's job to assess the situation and call for additional help if needed. We arrived, all the people in the restaurant were outside the restaurant. There was quite a bit of smoke coming from the chimney, and they said there was live fire coming out. I come in and I inspected the stove. Yeah. It's all the way on the side. It looked like there was a log jammed in there that was on fire. It was in the chimney, it was in a controlled environment, so I called the chief up and I said, the Coast Cedar Company's coming in, that it's not a building fire, that it was just a uh, chimney fire. At that point, uh, out of 26, they threw the stick to the roof. Couldn't get at all the embers because they were up. They were up farther than I had thought. Up in the chimney flue, so we removed the vent cover, ran a line up here. We just wet everything down, douched it down good, so we don't have to come back tonight. Yeah, looks good to me. Back at the firehouse, right, the work is just beginning for the senior man. You have to do the paperwork side. You gotta make sure all the guys get paid. If somebody calls in sick or, you know, there's just numerous things, uh, paid details. 
you're one of the links of the chain, you know? You, you just you graduated up to a bigger link, that's all. So far, Joe Mahoney's day as acting officer on the engine has been relatively smooth. A lot of stress, a lot of stress. A call to a residential fire will put him to the test. Once at the scene, the company see no sign of fire and hear no fire alarm as the lieutenant on the ladder, Brian Cobb, is the officer in charge. I asked fire alarm uh, how they receive it. They said it came from a little girl with a grandmother that uh, smoked something. So we looked up at the building and I saw a little bit of smoke coming from that corner window. We knew we were in the right place. Yeah. Went upstairs, we found a little fire underneath the cabinet and um, we struck the box. A few more companies here, get the chief here, just in case it was more extensive than we thought. At that point, it was just a question of getting the line up there, make quick work of it. Open those up. Open up all the cabinets. Open everything up. Tearing the, uh, the counters apart. Check for extension. There was none. Minimal damage for uh, what could have been. And that was the end of it. Let the record show Joe Mahoney had the pipe on this job. The, what the boss is doing with yeah. the pipe. And he's got, a, he's got a perfectly qualified pipe man there. He just stole it right out of his hand. I know what's that. going on with that. You know, the boy's going to have to have a little speaking to. <laughs> I know. The guy in the truck office, if he's a lieutenant, he usually hates me by the end of the day. I just, I, I ask questions all the time because if I'm not sure, I find out. We all work together, you know, just to get the job done, whatever the job is. And that's, that's how it works. Joe Mahoney survives his day as acting officer. On his next shift, he can go back to his old duties. Captain Chaos is due to return.